a public library that reflects the forest, a fashion show on one of Taiwan's oldest city walls, and award-winning tree-to-bar chocolates. These are just some of the things you'll find in Pingdong at the southernmost tip of Taiwan's main island. For the first stop in our trip to Pingdong, the county chief has suggested that we come here to this historic village. I see there's a cafe right here, so I'm going to start with a cup of coffee. <笑>我来当一日店长就是来特别跟你介绍屏东这个地方叫胜利新村它是在<笑> This is the largest cluster of Japanese-era buildings in all of Taiwan, more than a hundred in total. It's brimming with youthful energy, there are restaurants and shops selling crafts, and it's become a hub of creativity for Pingdong. Some of the buildings that have fallen into disrepair have even been transformed into art installations. Gay 旅游元素或是祭典或是相关的一些文化元素都是可以带动很多的旅游跟观光其实在每一个地方都是我的秘密景点套聚我们的原住民讲的话要五个太阳四个月亮或是三个太阳两个月亮就是三天两夜了 now it takes a little planning to find your way to Pingdong. That's because many of the hidden gems are located off the beaten path. But the county is building a network of trains, buses, and taxis in the hopes that people will come to Pingdong and stay. The county is building a network of trains, buses, and taxis in the hope that people will come and stay for a while, rather than just making a quick trip to the beach. Wow, this is Pingdong's native chocolate. Wow, thank you, thank you. Wow, how beautiful. This is when Pelosi came. 吃的这个巧克力跟其他人吃到市面上的巧克力有什么不同它的口味会有一种独一无二的只有屏东的巧克力才会有的味道对全世界的巧克力大概都已经是把可可籽萃取了就可可的油了屏东我就要求我们农民
You can swim with them, but don't touch them. That's illegal. The Hung Chun Peninsula to the south is teeming with natural wonders. It's home to Taiwan's first national park, where conservationists have successfully brought back an endemic species of sika deer. And every year in the fall, migrating raptors choose this very spot to transit on their way south. Thousands of people also descend upon southern Taiwan for the Hung Chun Folk Music Festival, which is helping to revive a dying art form. Today, you can even see models strutting on a makeshift catwalk on top of the city's century-old walls. If I Perhaps the most stunning place I visit in Pingdong is the county library. Tucked inside this award-winning design, you'll discover the fragrance of coffee. It's the first public library in the country to house a cafe. With this stunning new public library, the county chief is hoping to create a culture of reading in Pingdong, which ranks near the bottom for literacy nationwide. The unique design contains elements of the local indigenous people, including a traditional slate house embedded on the fourth floor. The library is also completely digital. There's a drive through book return, and they've created a network of libraries in 33 towns and cities across the county so that you can borrow books online and return them by mail. All of this is to encourage people to read. So what about the people you'll meet during your trip to Pingdong? Who better to ask than the county chief, who was born and raised in the coastal town of Chechen? Pingdong <laughs> 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 One of the biggest challenges to Pingdong becoming a tourism capital is the fact that it's so hard to get to, but that means it's also hard to leave. Now, the Pingdong County government has also become very good at turning obstacles into opportunities. They've taken the seasonal winds that drive people away and made them the focus of an arts festival. They've transformed a dilapidated military village into a design destination and they've infused an ordinary library with natural light and a rich spirit, creating a space that would make anybody want to read. Now in the past, most people thought of Pingdong as a place to spend a day or two at the beach, but today it would take 100 suns and 100 moons to see everything that Pingdong has to offer.